Hello everybody, I'm Nisgrom here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we finished up running through the Mars Archives. Uh, we had a little chat with the Elusive Man. He wants to control the Reapers. And uh, we ran into the Cerberus Android. Chased that down. Um, to try to get the data. And in that process, Caden uh, kind of got his brains beat in. So that isn't good and um we came over to the citadel caden's in the hospital we met with the council it went about as well as expected but we did find out that they are setting up a war summit to try to decide what to do about the reapers so we need to rescue the turian primarch for said summit and hopefully that our rescuing the primarch will win us some points that will get us some influence in said summit. So that is where we are at. Oh, and we got our Spectre status reinstated. So that's good. And we are now basically free to move about the Citadel. Mm, not quite. We actually have to leave and come back. But for now... We can uh, kind of take our time a little bit. All right, so welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access and support for authorization of covert operations and requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance, which we now are. And operation any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions and here is the quarian fleet intel quarian pilgrim gen valan narnima on the citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet uh gen valan purchased tech including high-end weapons mounts and kinetic barrier emitter kinetic barrier emitters from several ship service centers on Ilium, another Quarian pilgrim, unidentified, was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests the Quarian fleet is withdrawing his pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no former off formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be, pre be preparing for conflict with the Geth. All right, interesting. And uh, I do want to get my hands on this Black Widow, but a little, little pricey at the moment. Well, that is something I want to get as soon as I possibly can. And I'm willing to basically not buy stuff until I can get it. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. All right, well, we'll talk Damn to you later. Press. See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. So, uh, why take the promotion? If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. 
If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. All right. I don't see any more to discuss. I'm to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. All right. Yeah, plenty to talk about here. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. All right, then. And we'll ask about the war. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. All right. And I guess we'll ask about what's going on here. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Any trouble? <laughs> Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. All right, and any family? You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. All right, well, let you to it. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. All right. Um, I did not see Udina in his office. Okay, well, I guess we'll come back later. I guess we'll go deal with Miss Al Jalani. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. All right, let's get this over with. Commander Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. All right, well, that went fairly well. Ah, oh, James. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that? <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. Not your thing? I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? 
I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. All right. Please tell the primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the human alarm once used by a disgraced commander. All right. Well, now we need to go grab that. about this already I told you about his mission and nonsense I just filled out the paperwork he's very punctual when he's on the field he checks in every week Only he hasn't checked in for a while now a month anyway I'd like to file an expedited contact request yes of course ma'am but the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. Don't you so worried? It's not like him to go quite so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter. And we'll uh, try and get more tidbits of that conversation as we go. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. I don't think anything else really to do at the moment. The hospital. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. And, um, I'm not thinking we're going to pick her up. Ah, we have our first dream sequence. follow
Ayara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? Being better? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. It's all right. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. In, in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. All right, well, let's go talk to Hackett. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. Yeah, a bit, but uh, their objections are understandable. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And what about Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. 
Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. All right, then. The updating hack it. Now, I guess we will take a little tour of the ship before we head back to the Citadel. To fully tour the Citadel. Yep, pretty much. Let's go talk to Joker. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. I don't think we did that in this playthrough. In the last one we did. Oh, actually, let me uh, talk to him again, just to make sure there isn't anything else. Commander? Nope. Okay. Oops. It's bumped. My mic. All right. The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. I'll check it out. Eventually. We do have some email here. Special Ops from Stephen Hackett. Shepard. Alliance forces are stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your specific talents for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance in places we can't touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point. After you've completed your objectives, I need you to head to a service lab on the planet Sanctum, which we just heard about. I'll brief you when you're inbound. Yep. Oh, no. Reinstatement from Stephen Hackett, Commander Shepard. This letter formally acknowledges your reinstatement into the Alliance Navy per Admiral David Anderson's recent verbal communication. Under emergency war powers regulation 903.5, you are hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy SR2. You are directed to begin interdiction operations against any and all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and its allies. Furthermore, you are granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties with non-human races as required to support your mission. So we have plenipotentiary power as well. Emergency flash traffic. Urgent. All Alliance military personnel, this is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Hacken has declared threat condition Saber-1. Enemy presence is confirmed in Sol System Earth under Reaper attack. All Alliance military personnel are directed to evacuate Sol System at first available opportunity. Do not attempt Earth approach. Heavy enemy resistance reported. Repeat, do not attempt Earth approach. Further instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. Earth-based Alliance personnel unable to evacuate are directed to commence any and all necessary countermeasures. All remaining Alliance personnel outside Soul Theater are directed to muster at pre-appointed staging areas and commence offensive combat operations at first available opportunity. In absence of further instructions, independent action is authorized. And, yep, K9, my dog, Commander Shepard. I was working on the Normandy's haptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VI, Evie, emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing chemical trails, and 750 bolt outlets. Thank you, and sorry for the trouble. I promise you won't be too much of a headache. Andrea Brown. Oops, keep hitting that. Alliance News Network. Ruxius Rilius. Citadel. Where is the Quarian fleet? Latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system in a feverish pace. Pace. Uh, members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases their homeworlds. This kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Quarians who were pushed off their homeworld by the synthetic Geth centuries ago. 
But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Quarians are conspicuously absent. Turian and Alliance spokes people cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say they have other concerns at the moment. Whatever the Quarians are up to, they want it to keep a secret from the Council. After, after a refueling stop at Ilium, the fleet left no stated destination. There are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Quarians to abandon their pilgrimages to rejoin the fleet. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We can only hope that whatever the Quarians are planning does not interfere with the only thing that should matter, stopping the Reapers. All right, welcome back, gift from Edie. While we were in dry dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be re uh, reinstated as commanding officer, as the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested. I chose something from the Official Systems Alliance catalog. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a, a commemorative hooded jacket for wear on off-duty hours. You will find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. All right, we will definitely be using that. We have an upgrade waiting. Dear Commander Shepard from Glyph, some of the data you found allowed me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office at your convenience, and you may choose how and when to implement it. Have a pleasant day. All right. Party mission Eden Prime from Alliance Command. Commander, Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony. We've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, uh, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major protein artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. All right. We'll definitely recover the artifact. But I think we'll actually go ahead and end this episode here. We're a little early, but I think this is a good stopping point. And um, my mouth is getting a little dry. I need a drink. So I'm going to go take care of that. All right. So we'll stop here for now. And next time we'll continue our run to the ship. And then we'll head back to the Citadel run to the citadel and um see how far we get all right but for now hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching go ahead like subscribe and comment and i will see you next time